Hey, you guys like my freedom hat? America! Jug One Channel. I am your special host. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, also, I want to thank everybody for their support for this channel and also for Mud Jugs. We're going to get right into it today. We're going to reach into the little magic box. Oh, don't look at my address. Only send dollar bills. You cut my address. Money only. No checks. Alright, let's see what we got here. Six getting there. What? Granger Select? Well, I'll be damned. Dude, we still got a lot of shit in here, man. <laughs> the magic box is pretty full. Granger Select? Let me, know, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever tried this shit. Let's see what we got here. Oh, jeez. Pinkerton. Oh, here we go with this non-American tobacco bullshit, people. At least 20% domestic grown tobacco. At least. Well, that's pretty... Fucking shitty, Pinkerton. At least, so what, 20.1% American, the rest, most likely, West Nile, Hepatitis B, HIV, and fucking Zerka virus, <laughs> tobacco. But nonetheless, we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll dive into this now. It doesn't have an expiration date, I don't think. Most of these don't. It's got something stamped in here, but it's Chinese, so I can't read it. No, it's not Chinese, but. All right, Granger Select. Any guesses, Chris Dips One, as to what this shit is going to taste like? Raisins. Raisins. Yeah. But we'll see. Wow, it's actually moist. It's not not too dry. Uh, I'm surprised. Some of the stuff that you get off the Northerner. Well, I did buy this stuff a long time ago. So, but we're going to put, we're going to pack us a cheek, a little chosky for the josky. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, check it out. We made an attempt at doing that twist tobacco, and uh, it was a fail. So, hmm. Guess what it tastes like, Chris Tips 1? Raisin. Fucking raisin. <laughs> so let that shit soak a while. I'm more of a dip guy, but, you know, if I'm outside working in the yard, you know, trimming my trees, working on my, uh bar roof that I've been building lately. I like to pack me a cheek once in a while and just spit like a freaking praying mantis. Mud jug of the day. Well, we don't have a brand new mud jug to talk about, but we do have the Alaska Stokers giveaway mud jug. You can go to stokersnuff.com um, and enter for a chance to win. Um, they're giving away, oh gosh. 15 a week. 15 a week. They're also giving away a free trip to Alaska, which I'm hoping I can actually go on that trip with the winners and with uh, their crew. So we'll see. Man, this shit is making me salivate like a Komodo dragon, Chris. What's that dragon that spits, spits like acid on you? Dude, the Komodo dragon is the most poisonous. There you yeah, go. See? <laughs> Every once in a while I pull some intelligence out of my ass. We are, however, doing a Father's Day special. Father's Day's coming up, and if you have a father who needs a mud jug, uh, who's a dipper, and he's sick of spitting in bottles, and his your mom or his old lady has her balls, oh, his balls in her purse, and keeps giving him shit for leaving spitters everywhere, well, hey, guess what? Get a mud jug for your old man, and, and you might just save their marriage. Coupon code, FATHER. 20% off, all the way up until, I don't know, Father's Day probably, although it won't obviously get to you by, by then, but get it now so we can get it to you for uh, Father's Day. Now, let's see, what do I got on my listy list here? We're gonna do some Troops of, well, troops of the Week. I have two Troops of the Week this week. Airman First Class Aaron Rawlinson, who's stationed in Africa, he wanted, to give me, uh, wanted us to give him a shout out, him and his boys a shout out over there. Also, Garrett Carden, U.S. Army from Pike County, Kentuck Buck Fucky, who's stationed in Afghanistan. Hmm. Ew. This stuff is juicy. For 80% uh, 
Chinese tobacco, this stuff is actually pretty good. Um, it's not too sweet, and I'm because I'm not a real sweet guy. I'm sweet enough. Um, I don't like sweet shit. And this stuff is actually bad for your teeth. This stuff is way worse for your teeth than um, dip is, just because there's a lot more sugar in it. Um, but so far, I actually really like it for, uh, like I said, for Chinese tobacco. The other thing I wanted to mention, um, we have these fancy, I think we have like 10 of them, 10, we got more in the back, but 10 of these fancy uh, freedom hats. And uh, if you purchase $100 or more and put in the notes that you want a free freedom hat, that qualifies you to get a free freedom hat. There, you got it. Um, Are you good? Mm-hmm. We will do that for you. Also, we have still have a bunch of one-off mud jugs, ones that we never sold, ones that we did sell but are retired, ones that uh, are rare. Uh, we have a bunch of those still, so if you spend $100 and leave in the notes what jug uh, or what jugs you do have so we don't send you one, uh, one of those that you already have, uh, you can get it free. And I'm talking nice ones. We got a bunch of nice ones. So, leave that in the notes. Let's talk about NASCAR. I'm still seeing some comments here and there about, you know, I gotta talk about NASCAR. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, go to a NASCAR race and get pit passes and be down there during the race in the pits and feel it, smell it, hear it. If you are a manly man and you don't wear rainbow colored shirts, you will thank me for sending you down to the pits at a real NASCAR race. I'm just saying. So, that being said, um, Jimmy Big Johnson wins at the Monster Mile. Apparently he broke some records. Don't ask me what it is. I forgot. Um, Kyle fuck face Bush. Ugh. I got some comments. Why do you not like Kyle? Well, watch an interview. That's all you need to know. That guy has no sportsmanship whatsoever. He is a pouting little bitch and a, and a baby. He has no class at all. Do you think for Austin to get his first win? I'm not surprised about anything. Congratulations. And he won the championship last year, but yet, if he doesn't win, he turns into a whining, crying little bitch. He, he reminds me of a liberal snowflake. Maybe, maybe he voted for Hillary, Chris. I bet you he did. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I don't like Kyle Busch. You know, be professional. You're getting paid millions of dollars. Act accordingly. Be a role model. Eminem sponsors him and Skittles sponsors him. Um, maybe if I was sponsoring Kyle Busch and he was acting like that, I know it gets them, it gets exposure. It's you know, controversial or whatever. But holy shit, I would tell him to pack Skittles up his asshole. All right, Kyle. Thanks for your time. Um, obviously, last, not last race, but the one before, Austin Dillon won his first race. I was kind of happy to see him do that. I'm not a big Austin Dillon fan because he's a spoon-fed little, spoiled little rich boy because of his grandfather. But it was good to see the number three in victory lane. Let's just put it that way. All you Dale Senior fans out there probably got a big old boner because you hadn't seen that shit in years. And now it's time for Picks of the Week. If you want to be featured on Picks of the Week, send that picture, that photo, to mjphotos at mudjug.com. I got it right. Here are our Picks of the Week. Positivity contest, uh, positivity comment contest on uh, the last couple of videos, just trying to see if uh, how negative it turns. So far, I've actually been pretty surprised. Not too many people pulling out that negativity card. I'm telling you, you reap what you sow. It's called karma. You be a negative asshole like Kyle Bush, and your dick will fall off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it for me. Uh, make sure and use your, the code FATHER for 20% off if you want to get your old, your old man a mud jug. And if uh, he's still spitting in bottles, cups, or cans, tell him it is year 2017 and he needs to wake the fuck up.
Uh, that being said, if you can get some of this, I would uh, I would recommend it. Although I hate recommending something that is 80% made outside of this country or, you know, um, who knows, man. I mean, that, how vague is that? At least 20% domestically grown? Like, where's the other 80 coming from? And I, I, I don't know. It's bullshit, dude. So that's some horse shit. So uh, I'll leave you with this. Always be... <laughs> So I'll leave you with this. Always grab a bag, unless you're a hag, and grab you some jaw. But if you're a Kyle Bush fan, I'll punch you in the jaw. I'm out. I can't, you can't buy this shit here in California. A bunch of literal bleeding heart, yuppie, tree hugging, whale loving, fucking snowflakes. Sorry, I digressed. So we're gonna give this a shot. 